Now there's cyber crime increased a lot. Most of the time, the cyber criminals are using Linux operating system. This is a very complicated operating system, which can be uh, customizable. And that's why when you are doing a forensic investigation, you are really hard to get the data from the operating system. So solve this type of problem, I made a simple project. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you Log Forensic, Log plus Forensic plus Linux together. And you don't have to take much trouble to run it because it's made with bash script. But before we get a start, I need to give you a warning. Running log for Linux on a production system without proper understanding and authorization may lead to unintended consequences, including data loss and system incredibility. It can destroy your system, it can destroy your hard disk. So using virtual machine for doing this investigation. Okay. So this is log for Linux. It's actually your Linux forensic artifacts collector tool or it's a CLI tool that designed for automated the collection of forensic artifacts in Linux operating system. Okay, so let me give you a quick demonstration. So how to use it, okay? So first you have to clone the repository that we already clone it here. And after that you have to turn on the terminal in your operating system or the, your suspect operating system. Then you have to go to the, you have to turn on the terminal and after that you have to go to the like folder we already download or clone here so at first i'm going the desktop part here we have the tool here log for nix and we are going there then ls and we are here so what we have to do we have to do some permission we have to give them the execution permission that like we have the all access here and paste done then next we have to start this log for next software okay so how to do the first we have to just copy it and paste it here for one time and after that it will collect all the things so let me tell you what it will going to do first it will collect all the command history both the regular users and root users all the bad history file will contain all the records it will collect okay the second thing it will capture the network interface information including ip config and ip adapter comments so it is going to have all the details like ip address mac address linux uh, configurations network configurations everything okay next it will gather the network information including like netstat command so where you have the connections listening ports router tables providing all the visibility active networks connections everything potential network attacks even including everything okay next it will collect all the information of the process ids the cpu the memory users the users adding the identifying running applications services potential malicious process everything okay next it will go to the log file you don't have to do it by your own every time it will do by itself it will go to the log files it will call the collect all the log files in, in your systems after that it will capture all the temporary log files too that contains everything the user activities program executions malware persistence everything okay and now it's done okay so the file name is this one but we have like you know it's an optional optional folder okay so you can just like you know go to opt and here is the file you can use it whatever you want or whatever investigation you want to do like all the things that are here in a zip folder what is the future plan future plan i'm going to uh, maybe add some gui version in there that can easy do some forensic investigation and maybe if i'm thinking about doing something else maybe we can add the ai i hope you like my project 